Sikorsky Aircraft and Boeing are jointly producing a median lift size demonstrator they named SB-1 Defiant, also widely known as SB-1, for Phase 1 of the program. Originally planned to fly in late 2017, its first flight was delayed in April 2017 to early 2018. Once flight testing begins, the aircraft will be evaluated by the Army for further development. Sikorsky is leading the development of Phase 1 with an aircraft based on their previous Sikorsky X-2 design. Boeing plans to lead Phase 2, which is the mission system's demonstrator phase. The Boeing Sikorsky team is seen to have an advantage with their large industrial base that may result in wider support from Congress. Their transport helicopters are the most used in the Army currently. Sikorsky and Boeing state the design is to have a cruise speed of 250 knots, 460 kilometers per hour, but less range due to using the old T-55 engine. A new engine. The future affordable turbine engine, FATE, is to meet the radius requirement of 229 nmi, 424 kilometers. Compared to conventional helicopters, the counter-rotating coaxial main rotors and pusher propeller offer a 100 knot, 185 km per hour speed increase. Sikorsky has said that the X-2 design is not suitable for heavy lift size, and instead suggests the CH-53K for heavy lift and tilt rotor for the Ultra class. A 60% combat radius extension, and 50% better performance in high hot hover performance. However, Sikorsky plans to build the 30,000 pound class, 14,000 kilograms, JMRTD, with a cabin 50% larger than the Black Hawk, at full scale to remove doubts about the scalability of the X-2 technology. Sikorsky Boeing states the SB-1 will be quick and nimble, with fast acceleration and deceleration, fast side-to-side -side movement, and the capability to hover with the tail up and nose down. The Defiant demonstrator will be powered by the Honeywell T-55, which powers the CH-47 Chinook. It will be slightly modified to better operate at slower propeller speeds, down to 85% RPM.